living. Oh, is it possible that this lady should die while she has such an easy defeated as Signor Benedict? It is certain I am loved of all ladies. <laughs> Only you accept it. I would rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he loves me. God, keep your ladyship still in that mind. So some gentleman or other shall escape a predestined scratch face. Aw, <laughs> scratching could not make it hurt. It's for a face I'm very for. I would my horse had the speed of your tongue. But keep your way, in God's name I am done. You always end with a jade's trick. I know you of old Dante Dante. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
are in York. You are very near my brother in this world. And he is a man of our hero. I pray you dissuade me from her. She is no kin to this bird. How know you he loved her? I heard him swear in his affection. And so did I too and swore he would marry her to you. Come, let us to the banquet. <coughs> Thus, answer in the name of Benedict. To hear these ill news that there's a Claudio, to certain so. The prince woos for himself, friends who disconce him, and all other things, save in the office and affairs of love. Therefore, fare well. Yeah, Claudio. Yeah, the same. Go, will you go with me? Whither? Your sister Benedict would allow about your own business. The princess got your hero. I wish you could show him. Why, that's spoken like an honest rover. So they sell bullets, but do you think the prince would have heard you thus? Leave me! Oh, now you strike like a blind man. Well, the boy would sell your meat, and you'll keep the post. Then I'll leave. I'll leave you. Alas, poor her. Foul. Now we dream in the sedges. But that my lady Beatrice should know me and not know me. Princess Boha, will I be revenge as I may? Senor Benedict, where's the count? Have you seen him? my lord, I found him here, and I think I told him true. That your grace had got the goodwill of his young lady, who, as I take it, have stolen his birth nest. <laughs> I will but teach them to sing, and then return them to the owner. Well, if they're singing as you're saying, by my faith you say honestly. The lady Beatrice hath a quarrel to you. The gentleman that dance with them is told he is much she strong. You. Oh, ho, ho. she misused me past the merit of a block. She told me, not thinking that I had been myself, that I was the prince's sister, that I was duller than a great thaw. She speaks ponderous in every word step. If her breath were as terrible as her termination, oh, there would be no living near her. She would infect the North Star. <laughs> Come, talk not of her. <laughs> Will your grace command me any service to the world's end? I will go on the slightest errand now to the antipodes that you can devise to send me up. I will fetch you a toothpicker from the furthest invader, fetch you a pair of the great hands beard, do you any embassage of the big need rather than hold three words conference with this harpy. Do you have no employment for me? None but the desire your good company. <laughs> God, sir, here's a dish I love not. I cannot endure my lady tongue. <gasps> come, lady, come. You have lost the heart of Senor Benedict. Indeed, my lord. He let me use for a while, a double heart for a single one. Mary, once was lucky, one of me with false day. Therefore, your grace may well say, I have lost it. You have put him down, lady. You have put him down. Well, I should not be to me, my lord, but to prove the mother of fools. I brought Count Claudio who sent you to me. Claudio. Count Claudio, wherefore are you sad? Nay, my lord. Sick then? Neither, my lord. Now the Count is neither sad nor sick nor well. Civil Count, civil as an orange, and something of that jealous complexion. Lady, if he be so, then his conceit is false. Hear, Claudio, I have room in thy name. Their hero is one. I can cope with them all. <laughs> 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 Count, take me my daughter and with her my fortune. His grace has made the command, and his grace say amen to it. Speak, Count, is your cue. Yeah. Silence. The. Persecutus, herald of joy. If I could say how much, lady, as you are mine, I am yours. And don't upon me explain. Oh, because I speak or stop his mouth with a kiss and let him not speak <laughs> either. <laughs> Thank you. 
when you're a brother like you, your father got excellent husbands, if a man could come by them. Did you have meat pray? <laughs> no, my lord. Well, if you have another for working days, your grace is just too costly to wear every day. <laughs> but I beseech your grace and afford to keep all my family matters. Your sacraments most offend me. What do you mean, Mary, Beth? He comes you. And without question, you were born in a merry hour. No, sir, my lord, my mother cried. But then a star danced, the next star I was born. Cousins, God give you joy. Her niece, will you? Don't listen to those things I told you of. Oh, yes, Anna, she's the grace. Marriage, but doth not the appetite a halter? 
When I said I would die a bachelor, I did not think I should live till I were married. If I just say she's a fair lady, I, I despise the marking of her. Against my will, I am sent to bid you come in to dinner. Fair Beatrice, I thank you for your pains. I took no more pains for those thanks than you took pains for thank you. If it had been painful, I would not have come. So you take pleasure then in the message? Yeah. This one must be my ticket at night. You have no stomach, senor. I fare you well. Huh. Against my will, I am sent to bid you come into dinner. <laughs> There's a double meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Hear. Come on, life. The greatness of 
My boating brother, God save you. To them, brother. If you lend me a few of them, you can see it. And Tiger? If it pleases you, get the cow clawed your leg here, so what I have to speak of is the gentleman. What's the matter? Means your lordship to be married tomorrow? You know he does. I know you got that when he knows what I know. If there be any impediment, I pray you tell me. The whole spirit is telling me it's looking to the court, but the lady is too long to stop. Who? You will? The word of the truth is the king has given to me. I can say to you the word. Think you of a word of title, and I will say to you. Run you not to a servant girl, so it is too late. And see her change a little more in her, even the night before. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> you hear a child cry in the night. You must call the nurse, and if it hurts, fill it. How's the nurse not be awake? Why then let the child wake her with crying? If the nurse isn't awake, let the Hush. child. Hush. <laughs>
time you were ready to buy my job. I mean, speeding ill, I hope. For a hop, a horse, or a horse baby leap. What mean you for fool, Tro? Nothing I, but God does set everyone their heart's desire. My trough, I'm sick. Some of this is still Cardius Benedictus, and lay it on your heart, too, so only for the book. Benedictus? Why, you have some moral in this Benedictus. By my trough, I have no moral meaning. You may think, perchance, that you are in love, or that you can be in love, or that you will be in love. But yet, Benedict was such another, and now has he become a man. At least more he was never married, and yet now, in despite of his heart, he weeps his weep without grudging. I know not how he may be converted, but methinks in the book that I still be with the two pages that I come to. <laughs> not a full scallop. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Madam Withdraw, the Prince, Senior Benedict, Saint John, no, oh my god, the, the Count, oh, all the gallants have gone to bed to church. Help to dress me, give us, give Ursula. <coughs> Why speak not you? What should I 